Hey everyone, B25 Mitch here again. While I'm away for the week, I'm posting a little update on some new content coming soon to Nuclear Option. You might have noticed in the initial Steam trailer for the game, there was an attack helicopter. This was a flyable aircraft in the early single-player prototype of the game, but it hasn't been added to the current playtest yet because it needs some design alterations, which I'll get to in a moment. For now, here's some footage from a very old build of Nuclear Option, showing gameplay from the cockpit of the helicopter. It has 12 air-to-ground missiles carried in internal bays, which are built into the wings, as well as a 30mm chain gun, which is controlled by the AI gunner in the front seat when the weapon is not selected. When the gun is the selected weapon, it slews to the point on the helmet designator as a look-to-shoot function, or aims at the current target if one is selected. Nuclear Option treats rotor blades and propeller blades like individual wings rotating around a pivot point and each blade runs a simple lift equation, each physics frame, and applies the resulting force to the rotor hub. Now here's a look at the old 3D model for the helicopter. There are a few issues with the design. Firstly, I think the skids aren't really appropriate on an attack helo of this size and weight, and they're probably not very aerodynamic or stealthy. They would also obstruct weapons being deployed from any internal bays in the fuselage. The wings are a bit of an issue here too. They're meant to be able to carry missiles inside of them and launch them out of a bay door. However, looking at the front profile, they're so thick that I don't, don't think they'd function very well as wings. And from the top view, they're so wide from front to back that they would get in the way of downward air from the rotors. The intakes for the turbines are very big and don't hide the turbine blades at all, which is a problem for any stealthy aircraft. And the canopy has a bar across the middle of it, which obstructs the pilot's forward view. In early playtests, several people commented that this is quite annoying. So now to the design improvements. The preview that you see here doesn't have any textures applied yet. The skids are now retractable landing wheels in a tail dragger configuration which fold away neatly to reduce drag and radar signature. The wings are a lot slimmer and mount weapons externally instead of in built-in bays. They've also been moved up enough to create weapon bays in the fuselage that can open doors to deploy missiles. The engine intakes are much narrower and properly hide the turbine blades from view. The canopy now has a single glass piece facing forward, so there's no obstruction of the pilot's view. Finally, the tail rotor duct has been tilted 20 degrees to provide some upward lifting force, like some real-life helicopters do. I have a hunch that this might improve the way it flies at higher speeds, when the main rotor needs to provide a lot of lift in the rear. Well, that's it for this video log, but I just want to thank everyone who has tried out the playtest and given feedback. I really appreciate all the input. I'm looking forward to getting back from my trip on Saturday, and adding these things to the game. Bye for now.